Yo, what's going on guys? Arax here. Welcome back to another Division 2 video. And today, today I want to talk about the map. The other week we had PAX West and while there wasn't a great deal of new information shared and the build being played at both Gamescom and PAX was the same as E3, there were a few more things I wanted to talk about. I was at Gamescom a few weeks back and while I was there I attended a developer talk where they spoke about building the world of The Division 2. Some of it spoke about the tech that they used, but some of it spoke more specifically about the in-game map and the different zones and regions. So I figured I'd draw all that information together to give you guys some more map details. If you do enjoy this then like would be super appreciated and be sure to comment down below let me know if you guys have any questions. Also if you guys haven't already entered then we have a giveaway for the shiny new Spider-Man PS4 Pro. If you guys want a chance to win that then you can click the link in the description box down below. Now to begin with the first thing they addressed was why DC? Why of all the places they could have chosen was DC ultimately the final pick? Because Believe it or not, it wasn't the first choice. Not initially. The team had considered using either Seattle or New Orleans, but despite these other options on the table, they kept coming back to DC. And ultimately, it was because of variety. DC offers nature, monuments, open spaces, drastically different architecture. It was a city that would allow many different gameplay experiences. DC is built on a swamp. It's hot, which is a stark contrast to the snowy Manhattan. And when summer comes around, it also allows them to play around with a more interesting color palette than just say the greys and browns of the urban jungle. So ultimately, all of those reasons resulted in the team picking DC as the destination for the sequel. Now, if you've seen any of the information that came out of E3, you'll also know that they are building a one-to-one -one recreation of the city this time around. And the way in which they're doing that is actually pretty interesting. This is the slightly techie part of the video. They use something called GIS, Geographic Information Systems, and this actually layers on top of the Snowdrop engine that they use to power the game. What GIS does is that it gives you exact map data. When paired with Snowdrop, they can create a map of the city that is completely accurate. Road sizes, tree positions, all exact positions from real life geographic data. Now obviously in The Division 2, they aren't just recreating The Division like some sort of simulator. Naturally, they need to layer their own story on top of this, but by using this data, it means that the underlying foundation, the roads, the layout, the buildings, it's all correct. So if you live in DC or you know the city, you'll be able to use that knowledge to navigate around the game world. Sure, things might look a tad different when they've destroyed the place and made it look a little bit more derelict, worn down and worse for wear, but it's that technology that allowed them to pull off that one-to-one -one recreation. Now, to speak a little bit more specifically about the map, we've seen snippets of the map screen already, but during the presentation, they took time to describe these six distinctly different environments that will be present in the game. Each of these areas will have its own unique look and feel, and thanks to the different design aesthetic, they'll also offer different gameplay experiences. The six areas are the suburbs, the commercial districts, the residential area, government, nature, and historic. If you're familiar with Washington, then you can begin to imagine where some of those may be, but the intention behind this was to provide vastly different themes and experiences amongst the same map. While the Division 1 had different areas and some were a little bit more open than others, they all ultimately fell under the urban jungle colour palette, so while the city was impressive, it also got a little samey. But now, with these varied environments, we can get different experiences and gameplay options based on the lay of the land. Additionally, they're going to be making a point of utilising key locations throughout the campaign, and while they didn't go over all of them, the ones they mentioned were of course the White House and Roosevelt Island, but also the Lincoln Memorial and the Air and Space Museum. So again, a ton of interesting and at the same time different buildings and locations that should for sure make for some interesting and engaging gameplay experiences. But that, my friends, is pretty much it for the time being. Just a quick video, but that was a little bit of context on the map, DC itself, the regions, and a bit of what we'll be experiencing. Something a little different, but hopefully you still found it interesting. Let me know down below if there's anything else you guys would like to know more about. I imagine information will be a little bit quiet for the next month or so, but later on this year they do have some developer streams planned, so hopefully we'll find out more about the game very soon. Thanks very much for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to check out some more awesome stuff from us here at Arix Gaming, then you should definitely try to catch 269 and Paradise Central streaming six days a week. You can find a link to the multi-stream in the description box down below. They play a wide range of games, and what's more, we also have the end game store. By watching their streams, you earn currency, and you can redeem that currency on the end game store for really cool prizes. Those can range from things like games, comics, and figures, all the way up to controllers, capture cards, and even consoles. So definitely drop by and become part of the community. Of course, if you enjoyed this video, then make sure you're subscribed and be sure to click on that little bell icon to turn on notifications so you don't miss our next upload. 
You can watch more videos by clicking on the options here. But once again, thanks very much for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.